I've talked a little bit about this before, about how God is omniscient. He is the omni-scientist. He created the heavens and the earth. He created science as we know it. He is our inventor. And as an inventor, you have to really love your ideas in order to, right. to really get them to work. You have to really be faithful that whatever it is you're trying to do will be successful in right. one way or the other, that it has a future that... It has a purpose. That, well, that you there's a purpose. You're designing it for it. a reason. It's going to serve yeah. a good. It's yeah. going to perform a function. It's going to have meaning. The same way that that relationship between inventor and product comes about, so does God's relationship with us mm -hmm. as he created the heavens and the earth. He created people. He knew us before we were ever born. Right. right. Well, he plans every hair on our scalp. Right. Yeah. He knows every single one of them. The Bible says that not even a sparrow falls to the ground that he doesn't know and love and care about it. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, as the ultimate inventor, he wouldn't have even invested his time right. in making each and every one of us in the womb down to the very last hair if he wasn't molding something that he right. believed in and loved. 